Exit polls suggest Sunday's vote posed one of the toughest challenges to the country's social democracy in decades. Helping provide insight into this issue is Joe Twyman, his co-founder and director of Delta Poll, a public opinion polling and research firm. Sir, welcome to the show. Um, Post uh, projects that uh, there will be mixed voter message this year in the Swedish election, but with the ruling party leading and uh, with the far right party in second place, what should we take? What should our takeaway be uh, for this election? Well, it's worth remembering that in the Swedish electoral system, it's not necessarily the largest single party that gets to form the government. Instead, it's the combination of parties acting to together as a coalition that forms the government. Now, the, uh, the Social Democrats have, uh, for over 100 years, been the most popular party and have consistently been involved in the, uh, in the government in Sweden. But it looks like this time around, it may be neck and neck between the Social Democrats and their coalition and the moderates and their coalition, centre-left versus centre-right. But the crucial point is that it may be the case that no one coalition has the majority of the, uh, of the votes, um, meaning that neither can automatically form a government. Now, what that then means for the Swedish Democrats, who may come in with around one in five people voting for them, uh, remains to be seen. The, the established parties have said that they will not go into government with the Swedish Democrats, and though they may court their support on particular issues, it's unlikely that, for instance, they would have uh, members of their party as ministers in the government. But what's really uncertain is exactly how this will play out. And it may be that the end result in terms of who forms the government, who is the new leader of the country, that may not be known for weeks or perhaps even months. Let's talk about the, the sentiment of the electorate here. Exit polls suggest, as you have mentioned also, nearly one in five Swedish voters uh, back an anti-immigrant party. How reliable do you think are those statistics in painting an overall picture of the electorate? Uh, well, it certainly seems that, uh, that the Swedish Democrats, much like many other uh, right-wing populist parties across European countries, have been successful in gaining a certain proportion of the vote. Now, it doesn't look like they're going to get close to challenging the Social Democrats to be the largest party. And even with as many parties as you have in the Swedish system, they're still not going to, uh, not going to lead, despite having what, is, uh, what they believe is quite a distinctive policy position. But there's no doubt that, uh, that, their, uh, that their policies on things like immigration, but also their whole attitude to politics and their anti-establishment position, is really being successful in mopping up the votes of people who previously would have voted for either the centre-left or the centre-right established parties, but for a host of reasons feel that those establishment parties have let them down and they're more likely now to vote for this, uh, for the, vote for this upstart party, if you will. Well, finally, on immigration, we heard uh, from the left and the right, uh, both sides have been uh, pretty much, uh, there's a huge debate about uh, whether or not uh, Sweden should remain this beacon of light, if you will, in welcoming diversity, um, building this multilateral society. What, will, what do you think will this election tell us about the future of Sweden's um, migrant policies? Well, we don't know, know yet. Uh, the power that a, uh, that a party like the Swedish Democrats has is not necessarily to win uh, the election or even to gain a place in government, but to bring more established parties closer to its own view in order to stop, in order an attempt by them to stop hemorrhaging votes. And so it may be that, uh, that we see a, a stricter immigration regime moving forward in Sweden as a result of this. But it may be, of course, that the parties, uh, that the parties combine together and reject that. We just don't know. The negotiations for who forms the government, as I say, will continue for some time. This may be part of that. It may not. We'll have to wait and see. Joe Twyman, thank you so much.